Hello, I did my TED talk on cyberbullying, um, the dark side of communication, cyberbullying, inflict inflicting pain online. Bullying today has taken a whole new meaning in life. Um, the days of the mean kid on the playground still exists, um, but there's a new type of bullying, it's called cyberbullying. Um, you know, cyberbullies don't have to be bigger or physically more imposing to intimidate others. They don't have to be physically gifted, physically bigger. Um, it's not the fist that hurt the victim, it's the words that hurt the victim. And cyberbullying, um, a great example of this is the show Cyberbully. Um, the uh, disc should pop up somewhere on the screen. Um, you know, cyberbully. I you know to show to a girl who gets cyberbullied. She gets called all names in the book. You know, she's about to commit suicide, and luckily she put a video online, and her friend came and saved her. Um, and it turns out that her friend was the bully all along. And I think that's kind of that's kind of interesting because. You know, when it's anonymously, you know, when we think of a bully, we usually don't think of our best friend as a bully. You know, it was kind of weird that, you know, it's like, oh, her best friend bullied her all along anonymously. She didn't have the guts to tell it to her face. Which I think is, is very interesting. A cyber bully can also um, act like there's somebody else, um, you know. We'll go with Manti Teo here. Um, he was catfished. Um, he thought he was talking to somebody who he thought was a beautiful girl who turned out to be his girlfriend. Um, and it was just a, a fake. It wasn't, it wasn't a girl. Um, you know, I don't really know the story 100%, but I think it was a guy. Um, and, you know, that, that's a part of bullying. And I'm sure Manti Teo was very hurt about that. And, you know... If I have ever been cat, if I ever get catfished, I mean, I'm sure I'll be hurt too about it. But yeah, in addition to being anonymous, the cyberbully can also mask her or his identity and pretend that they're someone else. They can pose as someone else, which nowadays is super easy. I could go make a fake Facebook account and you know talk crap about some other guy, you know. But I I don't do that because that's against my morals. But, uh, I'm going to spit out some facts to you all. Um, an English reporter uh, study reported that over 43% of cyborg victims choose not to talk about it. While in, two, in a 2007 study, reportedly over 65% of victims remain silent. The reason these victims remained silent were their beliefs that an adult couldn't help them because the identity of the cyberbully was unknown. And that's by Herman and Waver of 2008. A lot of younger people feel that telling their parents that they are being cyberbullied because they don't want to lose their phone or interest privileges. Um, Herman and Waver. The Herman and Weaver uh, duo studied that too. I'd like to meet Herman and Weaver. I'm sure they're great people. I'm sure they like to have a drink or two. Um, my reference, my references, uh, Herman and Weaver, honestly, they got to be my top, top people. I mean, come on, man. Herman and Weaver, it's like the Herman and Weaver show here. They're pretty cool people, I heard. Um, yes, that's um, you know my two sources here. I hope you enjoyed my TED talk.